silicone. No silicone. No silicone. No silicone. Keeping it raw, keeping it real, 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 real. Hey, what's good, people, man? Welcome to another episode of No Silicone. Keeping it raw. Keeping it real with That's your boy, it. Feeling Hendrix. And ATJ Fitness. Yes, sir. Ladies, how are you doing today? Good. Yeah. Feeling well. Y'all, y'all feeling well. Y'all smell good too. Thank you. Know <laughs> okay. I, mean? I just throw that out there real quick. Yeah, you know I mean, Jay, we're joined today by two beautiful yes, girls. Two beautiful girls. Yes. Two beautiful flawless ladies. Yeah, you know I mean, flawless now. Yeah. Flawless. 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 From head to Keep bottom, bro. Thank you. Yeah. From head to toe, <laughs> and a little mo. Yeah, you know I mean. <laughs> now, ladies, thanks for joining us today, man. Um, do you mind introducing yourselves, please? If we start with you, Miss. Well, I am Grace Florence. Grace Florence. Um, also go by Ivory Valentine, mm -hmm. the alter ego of my life. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And I'm from Nottingham. Okay. Grace Florence from Nottingham, mm -hmm. aka Ivory. Uh, and you? I'm Shyla. I'm mm -hmm. from West London. That's it. Okay. <laughs> 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 you don't need to know more. No more. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> All right, cool. Thanks for joining us, ladies, man. Um, and Jay, how are you doing today, my guy? I'm tired. Why are you tired? But I'm ready to roll, you know. You're Why? ready to roll. Let's not talk about that. Okay, cool, cool, <laughs> cool. Let's cool. not talk cool. about that. Cool, Grace, how are you doing today? I'm good. You good? I'm good, yeah. How's your trip down? Um, I was late. You're late? Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. But you made it. You made it. We appreciate you. Yes, we appreciate you. you. Shy, how are you doing today? Good. I wasn't late. I'm always normally late. Always. To everything oh, is it? As well, yeah. So I feel special today. I'm normally I know. On time, so oh, so your flip rolls? Yeah. Y'all did a freaky, <laughs> freaky Friday. Tomorrow freaky Friday. I'll be Friday late again. On a Monday. Be late for everyone else. It's cool. <laughs> we don't give a damn. Yeah, you know I mean. So, ladies, man. So, we, we, um, we invite you over because we're trying to like open up our conversations. Um, we're trying to broaden the spectrum of the podcast yeah. um, genre. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I feel like one thing which a lot of people don't talk about is, you know, certain themes and certain situations and certain contexts which you're both kind of involved in. You feel what I'm saying? So um, instead of being vague and letting people guess what's going on, you know, I mean, Grace, if we start with you, can you give us a little broad overview of not just who you are, like, you know, what you do on a professional basis, you know what I mean? Okay, so for almost the past three years, mm -hmm. I've been a stripper. Mm -hmm. um, I've worked up and down the UK. I've now started to, like, widen my horizons. So I'm okay. starting to go out of the UK. Mm -hmm. um, I also do OnlyFans, all that explicit stuff online. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Thank you. In the simplest form. Thank you for being mm. open about <laughs> that. Yeah, I mean, just to keep it real with you, you're the first known only fans girl that i know like physically face to face i, I don't really I know say? any yeah i mean so you're in a league of your own right now oh thank you very <laughs> yeah, much I mean. like to keep it that way yes, sir. <laughs> and what about you shy uh so basically same thing i've been in the like adult industry i do webcam admire me content so explicit content for uh -huh. like paid uh, -huh. uh videos stuff like that okay yeah. interesting how long you been doing that for so i think Three years now. Three years. Yeah, throughout uni and then like a year. Starting uni. Okay, Grace, yeah. wait, how long have you been doing it for? Um, Three years too. Three years. Yeah. Oh, so you're, you're, would you all say you're so vets in the game? I'm 22. Oh, same. Oh, you, yes. You're both 22, yeah, right? So. Wow. <laughs> Winning. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Winning. <laughs> yeah, I mean. So like, um, so I guess both of you are on my, on my firsts. You feel me in terms of, you know, the webcam aspect of things, OnlyFans. So and you've never used the service before? I've never actually used um, OnlyFans. No, I haven't. I said no. any, any any type big, of service, anything. you know, a paid service for some some for type of no, not yet. Whatever still it time. is, you know, we can send you a link. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate that. Support the charity. No, I appreciate that. Um, no, nah, I've never used a service, bro. Have there's, you? There's always tomorrow. Have you? Have you? No, 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 no. That would happen in my house. It's okay, you can do it outside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on, on the street, on my phone. Hotels. Nah, yeah. Nah, nah. Just no, there's nothing wrong with it. Actually, I was gonna be at school at one time. But I didn't know um, what it was. She's laughing. <laughs> oh, legit, I, I was going to do that. I actually make money doing that. I wonder, yeah, like, what women massive. pay for sex? I just mm -hmm. don't get it. What? That's wild. Well, well, there's like hella women that will pay for that. I know, but hella I just... women. It's enough, interesting that you, you think that... So you don't know any male es escorts? I don't you know? know, but yeah. I, I, I obviously it exists. It exists, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah and Grace is thinking... It, yeah, no, I don't personally know any. You don't know any It's all like, I don't, like, personally know people. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. So, like, um, if you don't mind me asking, how did you guys get into this whole industry thing? Yeah, I mean, because Grace, you're both 22, mm -hmm. right? Shia, you're 22. Grace, you're 22. Um, you said you started in uni. You started three years ago. I don't know if you went to uni as well. I haven't, no. No? Mm -hmm. um, so, what got you into it? Like, what is the inception of um, Ivory Valentine? Where did she um, come from? What's your origin story? If you were a superhero, how did you get your <laughs> <Yeah>. powers? <laughs> how did you get your powers? <laughs> um, I was 
bored and uh-huh. sick and tired of my nine to five. Okay. So I used to work at Lidl. Okay. Um, that was good pay though. That was good pay. It Recognize is good you. pay. It is good pay. So <laughs> yeah. I don't want to sound like I don't appreciate it because mm-hmm. I did. I really enjoyed my job. Oh, mm-hmm. Thank you. I really enjoyed my job, but then I got transferred to a store mm. that I just didn't enjoy okay. and I hated it. Uh-huh. And I was just like, I want to get out of this. This clearly isn't for me. And then I'm there moaning on a night out with like my sister and her friend, like, ah, oh, I hate my life. Mm. And then she's like, well, come work with me. Yeah. Mm. Like my sister's friend. And I was like, well, what's that? And mm. she was like, well, come to the club in Birmingham. Mm. And me personally, sounds really silly. But at this time, I genuinely did think that Strip clubs only existed in America. Mm. Okay, interesting. Um, don't know why I thought you were that, 19. but that's just one. Yeah. 19, yeah. Um, so I was shocked. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Did that. Went to go do my first shift. Mm. Didn't make wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And then that was it. Did you, go, did you go out to enjoy yourself that night or did you just turn stripping on that first night? I don't understand. Oh, no, that was just talking. So we were just on a normal night out. Okay. And then another like i think it was like the weekend after that mm. she was like come with me I was okay. Like, okay cool all right all right so then um we went down and yeah all right not cool. stopped since okay. left my job and here i am what was the what was the, the the thing that made you stick with it though like why was that so much more appealing than the, the um, little thing i mean besides all the obvious things that we're thinking about but what was yeah. that you said you know fuck it i'm uh, willing to i'm willing to take the risk of it and yeah. i'm willing to make this my nine to five etc like um i would say the freedom freedom okay um you're fully in control of mm-hmm. all the money that you earn. Mm-hmm. Um, you're in control of your tax. Mm-hmm. You're in control of where you work, when you work, mm-hmm. who you work for. So that kind of helps keep it sustainable for your own happiness. Okay. Because I just wasn't happy someone else telling me what to do. Yeah. I knew that they didn't appreciate me. I can just be replaced tomorrow. Sure, sure. Um, so that's why I thought, yeah, yeah this is for me. Okay, so. interesting. And Shai, what about you? What was your inception? Uh, so yeah, similar to her in terms of like why she stuck with it. So mm-hmm. I've always been such a rebel. Mm-hmm. I'm like <laughs> the biggest <laughs> rebel everyone's ever met. Mm-hmm. And um, to be honest, like I really like it about myself, but like mm-hmm. growing up like in school and like uni and like everyone's kind of stuck to like structures. You mm-hmm. think you're just so different to everyone else. Mm. And then like I started to like make friends in the adult industry who did like webcam and okay. escorting and strippers. Well, and but how though? Like, cause you're in school at this time you said, right? No, so like uni. At uni, um, right. I went to uni in Essex. Okay. And there's a lot of like strip clubs. Right, right. A lot of girls in the adult industry like within like those areas anyway. Mm. And like on nights out, I'd meet girls and like they talk to me about their jobs. Mm. And like, you know, when you feel like you're vibing with people more than you would normally would. And I was like, these girls seem like my kind of girls and yeah. I'm not sure why. And I'm mm-hmm. like, just, yeah, like asked questions and then like just did my first like webcam session. And yeah. I just, yeah, I loved it. And obviously when you're at uni, you're broke. Mm-hmm. So you need money. And yeah. obviously like it's hard to, I don't know, have lectures all day and then work all night. Right, right, no right. No one wants to really do that. So what, did you, like, did, were you sticking with uni at the time then? You yeah, yeah, oh, I, I graduated. So, okay, so you're yeah. You stuck with uni and you were doing the whole webcam thing mm-hmm. in the PM. So you're like yeah. Batman and Robin. <laughs> you were like Superman and Clark Kent, Batman and Bruce Wayne. That's interesting. Yeah. You feel me? Um, I'll, I'm going to go into the whole webcam differentiator between, you know, webcam and escorting and stripping and stuff in a second. But Jay, do you want to throw some questions the way before we get too deep into the stuff? Yeah, you know I mean, I was waiting for this. There man. you go. There you go. There you go. Right. <coughs> Quite simple to start off. What was your favorite memory as a child? As a child? Yeah. Oh my god! Um, probably like my just my dog. I'm, I'm your, a your dog, dog lover. Mm. Okay, okay. Just cool. me and my dog. Okay, cool, nice. How about you guys? What type of like age are we ranging from? Then? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um. Do you have like one a year? <laughs> <laughs> one good well, one a year. I, I just try. as a kid, like <laughs> well, um, before kid, you was thirteen, um, w- whatever. I would say definitely putting on shows for our neighbors shows on our street oh, like, shows, so yeah. it, this, okay, it sounds weird coming from what we just <laughs> no, spoke about I, no 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 but i know what you mean yeah. so um like, like as, you know, <laughs> when you were a kid and you like perform and you yeah, you knock like, on the neighbors are like hi i'm about to like, come out or whatever <laughs> so um where i lived i had two of the neighbors that mm. i'm really good friends with and we put on like bike shows and she, okay. one of our friends had a dog. Yeah. So we'd bring the dog into the bike shows to like jump over like... Um, like a circus like, thing. Yeah, like a little oh, okay. kid circus thing. And <laughs> right. that's probably the funniest thing because everyone could just tell how awful we were. Okay. But they were just so supportive. <laughs> because you're kids. And we did it like at least once a week as well for a good period of time. So okay. it was a lot of fun looking back. Random, oh, random, okay. random. Yeah. <laughs> <Sure. laughs> <laughs> 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 yeah you got another one there? Yeah, um, what's your worst dating experience? Dating experience? Yeah. Mm. What's been your worst interaction? I don't date. Yeah. Okay. I really Same. just don't date. 
I don't have time so, for okay, it. when you've <laughs> met someone, somehow, uh-huh. somewhere, what was the... Okay, okay, yeah. I have a really bad okay. one. It's not really a dating experience, but I mm. met a guy and he's just thrown me off, like, completely. He was just very... Um, so I went on a date with a guy. I okay. had met him over social media, which I never do, mm-hmm. ever, because I'm just like, I'm not meeting someone I've never, like, had any interaction mm, with. I find really it really weird, yeah. like, one-to-one. Yeah. Um, but I did it, because mm. I was like, forget it, let's just go over the flow. Mm. And... Um, yeah, we went out once, and then he just ended up being like, I don't, I don't know, what's the word for what he was? I don't even know. And he's gonna know. He <laughs> wants to read. Oh my god, if he watches this. But basically, <laughs> he started, he started <laughs> like, I know he started, um, like basically saying stuff like, like I went out one date. Yeah. The next week he would be like, message me like, I'm going um like on a date with another girl, and I'm like, okay. Uh. And, then mm-hmm. and then he'd be like, yeah, like. Like, obviously, she's, like, really pretty. Like, trying to make me jealous. Right. I think I wasn't giving him enough attention. Uh-huh. I think he was really used to a lot of attention. He mm, kept okay. doing that. Like, he'd call yeah. me, mm. and he'd be like, oh, I'm, like, in your area. I'm like, oh, okay, like, mm. why? And he'd be like, oh, I'm just going to meet a girl. Mm, mm, like, right. Okay. Like, yeah, stop yeah, calling yeah. me. Yeah, <laughs> right. Stop calling right. me. Some, some You're weird. And right. then, yeah, <laughs> he would just, like, message me, like, argumentatively. Like, I don't know. He was, you know, someone wants attention really bad. Mm, mm, they don't mind negative attention. Yeah, yeah, any, yeah. As long any as attention anything. is yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, anything goes. He, yeah, yeah. he kept trying to like ca- cause arguments, and I was right. like, yeah. I bet you once. I'm not arguing with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not doing that at all. So that was yeah. weird. Okay. Really I'm not gonna lie. On the scale of one to weird, that was not that bad. Really? No, I thought that you can be worse. Really? It, oh yeah. See, so then I, that's why I don't date. Because if that's not weird, I don't want to. You don't want to know where it is. What about you? What about you, Grace? Yeah, I don't really date either, but mm. um, almost two years ago, I met this guy, mm. and we were like on an on and off thing. Mm. Um, worst experience, probably, he became very like obsessive, very narcissistic, right. came back from work, how'd you make all this money? Mm. Um, mm. Doing my thing in the club, like, mm. what else do you expect it to come from? Because mm. um, he was at mine after work, so I came back home, and he was just on one and ripped up my money. What? what? <laughs> you ripped oh. up your money. So yeah, that's another scale of what weird can be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, like he was just yeah, saying, like, I know you're you doing win. something else. <laughs> I know you're not doing what you're saying, and I'm like, you need to understand. Yeah, there's enough money in this world for everyone. Yeah. Mm. And, and there's some people out there. Did, but yeah, he still didn't and I met that. him as well. In no, the he club. thought you was doing extra. Basically. Yeah, like he, he oh. like, he's basically people, thinking yeah. like um. So sometimes I would drive to work because I'd work further away. Mm. Um, and I remember this time I worked in Leicester. Okay. Um, and I'm coming back home. It's about like a 40, 45 minute drive. Yeah. He's like, oh, what are you doing? Blah blah blah. How did you make all this money? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. One, I met you in the club, so you know how. Mm. Two, you know it's gonna take me this long to come home, so you know what time yeah, I'm gonna yeah, arrive yeah. home. Mm. And then he was just in his feelings. He was just being weird, whatever. Ripped up my money because I didn't deserve it. So I just said I taped it all back together, and I was like, okay, bye. Oh, yeah, so yeah, I went to the bank like, it. hey, <laughs> can you um can you can exchange two? And they were like, yeah. yeah, sure. And I was like, oh, okay. Wasn't that? It wasn't that, wasn't bad. that bad. That's a trip, right? <laughs> if I couldn't get the money back, I'd be fuming. But because I got the money back, I was like... So he ripped mm-hmm. all of the money up? Yeah, he literally just got it. But not properly. Because so I went to the same Just perfect yeah, halves. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I literally <laughs> just went like that. Like, he just ripped it and he's like, Take what are you going to do? And I was like... Scissors. scissors. <laughs> like, just in case I change my mind. <laughs> be just use scissors. Interesting. Jay, before we move on to the next question, yeah. um, this whole thing about you met him at the club mm-hmm. and this whole thing about, oh, but he knew what you did. Mm. Like... Mm-hmm. In terms of like you guys meeting people, is it something you tell them in general that by the way so, I'm a stripper, by the way I'm yeah, an escort yeah. and stuff like that? You do you have to be honest, yeah, mm. because it's not fair. Yeah, okay. it's, it's actually just not fair. Like right. that's how I see it anyway. Right, right, yeah, right. Like if a man I don't know like leads you on for a few months and then mm. you realize I don't know he's married, mm. is that yeah. fair? Yeah. No. Exactly. You have to tell everyone like a whole the whole part of your life. Yeah. yeah. If you don't like it, you don't. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. So, I, like. yeah. I feel like being honest with them as well kind of brings out their true colors. It definitely does. How they really feel about in you. my opinion, I think they like it. Like, yeah. Just like, oh, some I'm people fine. do it for like an ego thing. Like some people will just talk to you and be with you because they just think it's cool to say to people like, oh yeah, I'm seeing a stripper and I'm okay with it. Or yeah. you know, there's a possibility of us doing videos together or whatever. Like <laughs> some people do try and take advantage of yeah. that. So yeah. I feel like being honest with what we do helps us narrow down who's actually being real yeah. with us. Okay. Yeah. So it helps. But do you not find that like like your situation, right? Mm-hmm. Um guys that are okay with like girls in that industry, like a lot of them do have some kind of issues in terms of possessiveness, yeah. okay, in yeah. terms of ego. I, don't, and, I yeah. don't tend to date guys who just go out of girls in the industry that I'm okay. in. So mm-hmm. I met guys like that, where like all their exes are like strippers, escorts, and pangos. Yeah. Yeah. Like, listen, they might, they might be normal, but in my like 
from mm. my evaluation of it. Like, why is it you're only going for girls like that? Right, like, right. if a guy is just okay with it because he's just an open-minded person, right. like, obviously it's you're different. my kind of person. You yeah. kind of okay. find as well with people like that, they kind of, they're like, Oh, I've I've been with a porn star. I've been mm. with a stripper. So it's like the way they're coming on to you is as if they know the industry. It's yeah. like, and it's interesting because we had this though. conversation. Just, just You've just been with someone. We spoke yeah. about this briefly, yeah. right? Because yeah. you were like, um, da da da. Um, I do this, and that's okay. That's interesting. I know someone that was a porn star, mm. yeah. and you were like, oh well, so they work yeah. in the adult I'm industry. I'm a fiery person, so I just mm. turn back like they don't. Yeah, yeah, she, <laughs> <laughs> you don't know anything about the industry. She's just like, nah, it's different, nigga. I'm like, oh snap, my bad. No, you don't know. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Yeah. But it is though. Yeah. It is completely different. Like, Mm -hmm. it's not okay. Like, obviously, if you know ten girls who are Mm. in the like just the adult industry in general, obviously Mm. you probably have a better picture of like what it's like to be in it. But you don't know what strippers like, what strippers' life's like, what a porn star's life's like. I don't know what a porn star's life's like or a stripper's life's like. So So neither would a man who's dated one. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. You you have like experiences. You've had you've had like an insight. So you definitely have more knowledge than the normal Joe. But it's kind of like all ins and outs like mm. I, I hate it like when people try and come to you as if they know it and they're trying yeah. to tell you how to do it so like you be with a guy and they're like oh maybe you need to try this and maybe you need to try mm. this like don't tell me what to do oh, mm. oh what, okay, guys, I don't tell you how to stack your shells oh. okay so don't tell me how what, I do guys like, actually do that men yeah all love to input I don't mm. know why what, like, yeah. okay in your case yeah. what's a guy helping you input like listen maybe you need to back it up like, like this no they're like maybe, yeah like you know what you should do like, you're, like I know this girl who does content like this oh, or, okay, I know this girl okay yeah yeah. that's her that's her I don't mind listening to stuff it's just the way it's like constructive criticism is always welcome it's good but you can tell the difference Tone, yeah. can't you? Like, it's like, okay, so do you want to do it? Am I not doing it right? <laughs> okay, that's interesting. So, okay, so you came, you started with the stripping. Um, did you go straight into the cam work, right? You said, so when did you get into the cam work yourself, Grace? Like, I when did that happen and why? I got into OnlyFans, it was probably a good couple of months into it. After, stri- um, after you go into stripping? Yeah, so I started okay. stripping first. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, well, might as well try and make more money. Because yeah. why not? Yeah. And then I went on to OnlyFans because I heard um, one of the girls talking about it mm. in the changing rooms. And I already knew of it. Yeah. I didn't know what it was about. Okay. Um. So, yeah, so I just did that from there, from just hearing people talk about <laughs> it. And then not look back since. Okay, <laughs> fine. Unless when you're backing it up. And then what mm-hmm. about you? Like, you know, when, like... When did I transition? Yeah, because you're, you started just normal webcam stuff, right? Mm-hmm. And then OnlyFans, it's still the same. It's still yeah, the same it's world. The, it's still the same thing, yeah. Yeah, it's it's the same world. Doing this exact Sorry, same what stuff, is OnlyFans anyway? Like, so what is it? I do admire me, so it's mm-hmm. like yeah. it's, it's like, like a paid a Instagram platform, yeah, okay. literally. So yeah. you post, mm. and like someone subscribes for whatever price a month, mm. and then like they renew that subscription every month. So yeah. Yeah. okay, and you can do like um, bundle subscriptions for like three months or six months. Yeah. You can do like promotional okay. subscriptions and whatever. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that, and that's OnlyFans and Admire Me. Those are similar, similar, similar concepts. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. the subscription services for kind of explicit content. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. but on OnlyFans, I feel like Admire Me is definitely strictly like sexual content yeah, because yeah. they OnlyFans know. Could be anything, actually, yeah, yeah, OnlyFans like okay. people have like cooking pages yeah, yeah. or Seriously, sports okay. pages. Yeah. So I can start. I can start OnlyFans <laughs> so yeah. for the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah well, literally, you could. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing that. Just say it on this. That's hilarious. Okay, that's interesting. So. Um, psychologically speaking, right? It's like we're just gonna jump straight into that, right? The mentality of like majority of women looking into this the space, you feel me? It's very judgmental. It's like, yeah. oh, that's slaggy, or oh, that's disgusting, mm-hmm. that's dirty, no moral compass, blah 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 blah. Shy for you, like, what made you kind of feel like, man, I'm over that. That doesn't mean anything to me. I'm gonna do what I want to do regardless. What gave you that strength and empowerment to be like, I can do this, mm. and I don't care. I'm not gonna lie, it's never meant anything to me. Yeah. Right. I, I wouldn't say mm-hmm. never. Mm. But from what I can remember as growing up as like a, a female, mm. my parents are very, very liberal. My okay. dad is very like feminist. Like he's yeah. very like women can do whatever they want. Yeah. Yeah. You're a woman, but it doesn't mean anything. You can do yeah. whatever you okay, want that's sort of thing. Yeah. So I've always had like an open minded view. Okay. Mm. I know obviously these views exist. Mm. I've like I've always been kind of like whatever. Like yeah. if that's mm-hmm. how you feel. How okay. like there is absolutely nothing wrong with it. If mm. you're not hurting anyone, mm. why is it anyone else's business but yours? Mm. Exactly. And as especially as a woman, knowing like how hard it is as a woman to mm. live in a man's society, why would yeah. you ever look down at a woman doing anything? Exactly. For money or to provide for a family, to provide for herself, mm. like why? Mm. This doesn't make sense to me, so I just kind of disregard it's, it. Yeah, exactly. The way that I kind of was like, uh, 
whatever to people's opinions is because they're the first the first ones to judge you are the first ones to be on Pornhub searching hardcore stuff, <laughs> extreme stuff, whatever, blah, so blah, true. blah. But then in front of your face, they'll be like, Me. what you're doing is mm, wrong. You stuff, shouldn't I be doing this. Squirters, bro, basic stuff. You know what? I feel like the women that are really, really, really like, uh, like, judgmental about it in my opinion they kind of want to do it themselves yeah, yeah. So you, and they're just yeah. really sort of upset envy. that you yeah. have the guts to do it right right yeah. right so there's yeah. that little projection because i know women yeah. who are like i wouldn't ever do that myself but yeah. do what you want yeah and that, yeah. that's fine mm-hmm. if you wouldn't do it yourself i get yeah. that i wouldn't yeah. do what you do either versus yeah. but, the hate yeah but the hate yeah. is yeah. like okay so the hate's just so unnecessary it's, yeah it's a bit to me it's borderline like so do you want to do it and you're just really upset that, that you, you don't have you the don't guts have to, mm. and the push to just do it yourself because it takes guts yeah. to do yeah. any adult industry job yeah. Yeah, especially sure. like young yeah like, you know for people sure. are gonna like think whatever of you mm. but you just kind of have to push past that because mm. it's your life and you're so your, your family was relatively liberal about it what about yours um <laughs> that, that's a long that's a, enough it's said it's a long story <laughs> yeah, yeah can you give us a long and um, short of it I will indeed yeah. um, so the first people to find out was my grandparents okay Whoa. heart attacks oh straight yeah. away heart yeah. attacks <laughs> are they yeah. still alive yeah they are oh still, they made it they made it li- <laughs> they still we made alive it. and well oh my god <laughs> shy space um, <laughs> I'm not actually um, I still don't know 100% the story as to why or how it got out but granddad is out here but granddad <laughs> 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 Is it in your area, like your local, like your local? Oh, um, like in, in Nottingham, there is a club, but I don't work there just because mm. the money ain't good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. simple. I left my lo- my house keys in my locker at work. Mm. So the only person at six o'clock in the morning I know is available <laughs> is mm. my granddad's house yeah. because he has a spare key. So I sleep in the conservatory. He wakes up like two hours later, like get inside, go to bed. Mm. Um, so as like a thank you for letting me turn up and sleep in your conservatory Mm -hmm. I said to him I'll cook his dinner before I go to work Mm -hmm. so I'm on the way to the shop Mm -hmm. and then um, I'm like oh I've left my purse Mm -hmm. I need to come back and get it Mm -hmm. so I believe what he did was he went into my bag Mm -hmm. um, to be nice to probably meet me halfway Mm -hmm. and realised um oh, there's all this money, stripper shoes, yeah. lingerie in the back. I'm going to just leave it here and act like nothing happened. Yeah. Um, oh but the only reason why I think it's that is because um, New Year's <laughs> Eve of like 2017, I think it was, I saw my nan at the bus stop. Mm. I thought I'm going to get on the bus with her. Mm. So I get on the bus with her and she's like, oh, you're a prostitute, you're doing wow. this, you're doing drugs, you're doing this, you're doing that. And I'm like, nan, whoa, where's Came this out of stem no, out of <laughs> Yeah, I was just like, whoa, nan, like, never your voice down, like, what's wrong? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so then it got out and then they told my parents and I had to mm. explain to everyone separately like you know this is mm. like this and you know yeah. it's not like that and mm-hmm. I understand back in the day it was mm. something else but today mm-hmm. it's not like mm-hmm. that we, we have security that's CCTV yeah. contracts that's the yeah. thing about the parents thing is that yeah. like you know what as much as like my parents like proper mm. bugged out as well mm-hmm. but like I had to keep it in my mind that mm. what they think that like that whole sex industry yeah. is like yeah. was probably like that yeah. when they were growing up mm-hmm. yeah. it's just so it was so much more taboo it was so much more yeah. seedy yeah. so much more dangerous like mm. obviously Massively there's still dangerous. like some sort of risk but there's mm. a risk like crossing the road like yeah. at the end of yeah. the day you mm. know if you know the risk and yeah. you're aware then mm. like you can be safe and um, you currently shy. Is your family cool with things now? Like I know you said they're liberal, but are they hundred percent? Like no. So when my fa- like my family found out, um, and it was a bit of a mix. It was a mixed reception. Mm. My, I'm not gonna lie. My mom's just like she's just a down ass bitch. So mm. she was just mm. like, you, what's your she, background? What's your heritage? I'm Dominican. Dominican. Ooh. Okay. So she's just really down. Like so, she kind of okay. Yeah. So go no. On. So your your lower half is real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wanted to ask that the whole day. Hey, <laughs> hey. No, now it makes sense. Like, no, because when she said Dominican. You know why you make that money. <laughs> <laughs> when you said Dominican, I was like, oh. Yeah. yeah. I was like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, suck it. Um, suck it, nah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. The, like, um, as the males in my family. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, because they're very. So, a little bit. But you know what? Time's a healer, yeah, sure. and I get yeah. it, mm. and I understand it, mm. and I'm just gonna have to give it time. I yeah. feel like yeah. because yeah. obviously, as a man, you want to protect the women in your family, yeah, yeah, yeah. and mm. I get that. Sometimes yeah. it cross boundaries in terms mm. of like you're be- not being fair, mm. but give it time. I just feel like okay. Cool. And what, what what about you? Like, um, is your is everyone you know like your family wise? Are they cool with you and stuff? Um, everyone pretty much knows what I do. Yeah. Um, it took time. Time mm. is a healer. Mm-hmm. I know, like my parents and the certain people in my family would, ov- would like obviously rather me do something else. Mm. But 
I feel like the whole when it started off prostitution, yeah. given it time, <laughs> years down the line, they could tell that I'm not like a, a coke addict or anything like that and blah, blah, blah. So I feel like time does help with mm. that, you know, getting to that point. Yeah. And they okay. understand now. Like, it's just kind of like letting them understand you're still the exact same mm. person they remember you as, yeah. just doing a different job. Okay. Yeah. I that think that's what like they need to get around. Because mm. obviously when family, yeah. they know you as a child yeah. growing up they and they're like, oh, my baby. Yeah. And then yeah. you're like, I'm still your baby. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 I just yeah. do that. Yeah. And I understand that my dad was the one that had like the most opinion about it. And I was just like, you know what? I need to understand at the end of the day, I am his youngest girl. He is my dad. And I see it as love. Like at the end of the day, I want them to share their emotions with me. And even if they don't agree with it, at least that to me is, okay, well they care. That's why That's why they're acting so irrational. It's because they care and it's because they come from a place of love. It's not hatred or anything like that. Probably like 2%, but it's overpowered by the love that they give to me. Speaking of that, have you been for anything like like a mad situation, like someone tried to, I don't know, kidnap you or anything crazy, um, like stalkers, like anything mad. Do you know what? God's honest truth. I've had more trouble when I worked at Lidl than I had at <laughs> this job. I was just going to say that. Okay. Men, yeah, mm. like in normal day-to-day life have mm. been way worse to me than yep. in that job. Okay. Yeah, 100%. for sure. Mm. I feel like people, like people have tried it, like sometimes I've been with someone, like they've spent money at the club and they mm. think that they're entitled to yeah. have my number and my time and whatever, mm. blah, blah, blah. But you know, the rule is a set, you pay, you go, end yeah. up. Yeah. There's people that have waited outside before, mm. but then they wait outside, you just tell the security guard, this guy's yeah, waiting, exactly. and they walk you to the train station, the coach, mm-hmm. to your car, mm-hmm. whatever, mm-hmm. or your accommodation, yeah. and they make sure you're okay. okay. Um, majority of places, like the security guard would just like drop you off or whatever, but yeah. I think the worst case scenario is just people waiting outside and then probably getting a bit aggy because I'm all obviously right. not yeah. meeting them. So I'm about to yeah, get like, back door or something. Yeah. Okay. Um, the aggressiveness like happens mm. all the time. Okay. Yeah. You know, like, I don't know, mm. oh, I paid for this and I did, like, I don't know, yeah. I did this, you know. Yeah. You know what, like, when you do like a, <laughs> when you do like a okay. lap dance or something, yeah? Yeah. You can make a man fall in love with you for that three minutes. Oh, for sure. That yeah. So yeah. it's like, how do you it detach off like that? that? Like, yeah, it, it like feels that. like she actually yeah. likes you for that second. I'm like know. everyone's girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm in a relationship like with every man I've come across <laughs> in that job, 100%. Mm-hmm. But like, mm-hmm. that's fine. Yeah. But, but why, how like, do you detach okay. off that? Because it's just so normal. Like, it's just nothing. Like, whatever. The thing is, I feel like, mm. one, obviously, majority of the time, alcohol is involved in the club. I don't know with webcam or anything, like live. Um, Obviously, it's just through like a computer or whatever. But in the club, I because it's like a personal interaction mm. alcohol's involved so they kind of just understand <laughs> that and they understand they've walked into a strip club mm. Mm. there's rules there's people mm. watching whatever blah 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 but you do get the people that are like kind of get really upset if you don't give them your number or whatever mm. blah blah, blah or, but it's good for them to feel like that because then they come back. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, right. Yeah. And they kind of understand that's, what's, that's yeah. what they're signing. You're the carrot. Well. You're dang that little carrot. Yeah, you want them to like you because that's what they're paying for that's, anyway. That's, so. what, that's what you're good at 100%. as well. So in terms of like, Shy, in terms of the, the escort business, right? Um, so this, I guess there's a differentiator between you know, um, you're dancing for a dude, mm-hmm. you feel me, and then he leaves. Mm-hmm. You have the escort business where dudes are paying for... You know, do you mind elaborating on that? On that, like, yeah, what is so the escort business? Yeah, so obviously I have a rate, an uh-huh. hour, yeah. and like whatever we do in that hour is completely like consensual and up mm. to us. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's just literally it. Mm. And honestly, I know it just sounds like oh, like I feel like people think oh, okay, yeah, sure. But like honestly, mm. I've like sat with a guy for an hour and just spoken. Mm. Yeah. Some guys just want someone to talk. To. Yeah, company. literally. Yeah. Some mm. right? Literally, yeah. you're in the club, mental. like everyone thinks it's dancing like a whole straight hour and you're like Sometimes you no. talk, <laughs> yeah. you drink, yeah, yeah, yeah. you laugh. Some guys are like, Tell me about you. I'm yeah. Like, okay. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sure. But the same the same thing um, with you, like do you do you ever get like attached to those guys or those clients and stuff like that? Have you ever have you, you ever never fancy anyone? Fall, fall, yeah, fancy. For someone? yeah, and you fancy. wanted to take it there with them. No, but yeah. I don't. Though. You've never taken it but anywhere with nobody. No, because she said because like they'll pay for the service and whatever happens within that service no, is, is what, what the escort thing. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, so you're never, saying have I ever met? A yeah, have you ever gone the way with them? them? Yeah, have you ever gone the full mile with them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. yeah, but that's part of the. But what that's she's what, oh, okay. Oh, do you but mean some, like in my just, separate life? Yeah, because sometimes it's just um, escort and just come with me here. Mm-hmm. Or there's escort and we can do other things as well. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, what, it's whatever they want to do. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. But yeah, like the whole fact, I've met guys who obviously like I'd think, oh, I date you like mm. in normal in real life. life. Yeah. Mm. But the point is, it's not. Mm-hmm. And like mm-hmm. part of my job is to actually keep that discretion in terms of like I'm here <laughs> and I'm being paid and I can't really like cross boundaries unless they wanted to. Obviously, mm. yeah. do you know what I mean. Vice versa, if they were crossing boundaries, it'd be wrong. So if mm-hmm. I do, it's wrong too. Mm-hmm. So you know, like I've I've spoken to a guy who I've met through mm-hmm. like escorting, mm-hmm. and we still talk, as mm-hmm. in like, and we go out and we like do things as so you like, guys are cool. But basically. he doesn't pay. Like we mm-hmm. just go out. Yeah, yeah. But that's as far as it's ever gone. I don't mm-hmm. think I'd ever like 
mm. like be date fully like what, what about you like that. you, you yeah. said that you you've you have dated a guy yeah. that i guess was in a strip club and yeah. paid you for a dance and stuff yeah. but you've actually fallen for him or yeah it was love. It was love. Yeah, like really. Okay. It was. It was. It was a time. Like, it was a time. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, really. Um, but I've been doing it for three years, and that's just the one guy. Okay. Um, so. What was it? What was different about him then? Like, what was that situation? Why was that different from I every other guy? I just felt like being a rebel. Mm. Literally, he <laughs> came. He came in, and then he was like, "You're cool." I was like, "You're cool too." Mm. So we exchanged numbers. Like, the first guy I exchanged numbers with, I was like, "Oh my gosh!" Like, yeah, I was talking yeah, yeah. to my friend. Like, sorry, one second, just gotta talk to my friend. Oh my god, should I do this? Should I do this? Like, because mm, 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 other girls do this, right? Okay, yes, yeah, so I can do it too, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then obviously, like, we kept in contact and we did try to make it happen, but it just didn't happen because he was mm. psycho. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, I just see it as a life lesson to mm. not do it again. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so, so yeah. like in the in the dating game, right? So you said you've never been with a guy that's actually paid for a service. Is that conscious? Is that like a conscious effort not to, or you just haven't come across a guy that you thought? Like, would I f like fully like take a guy seriously yeah. who does that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, interesting. But not for any reason. There has to be a reason, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, not for not for a bad reason, just right. because at the end of the day, obviously, like men are always willing to pay for sex. Like, mm. whether or not you've done it before, mm. like you may come across a time where you feel like I need to have sex and I'm gonna pay for it. Wow. Mm -hmm. But. The kind of guy I personally want to be in my personal life, mm. I'd rather him not have done that. Mm. But that's literally just for like a, mm. just a random personal reason. It just makes me a little bit uncomfortable because I feel like, okay, so are you going to go behind my back and do it? Because obviously I'd, I'd like talk to a lot of men who are like, one second, my wife's coming. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to ever be that woman. Yeah. Mm. So I'd rather a man who's very open and honest and like mm. he can be open and honest that he has never paid for sex and he won't. Because mm. okay. there are men like that that exist that just wouldn't do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not because there's anything wrong with it because mm. they just won't. Yeah. Yeah. And I'd just rather be with a man like that because mm. I know what, the other side of that industry is like of like mm. being the like the other woman yeah, yeah, yeah. where the wife doesn't know what's going on and where's all this money going mm -hmm. to me <laughs> yeah <laughs> i don't yeah. want to ever be that woman <laughs> I, 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 get, I, I get yeah that. i get that it's i understand yeah that. it's weird it's like a, it's like a it's a thin layer of hypocrisy there though a yeah. little bit and it, i yeah and me. i will be it's yeah, like it you're creating is. the demon <laughs> but yeah, yeah. you know <laughs> but i don't want to be part of it we'll cause the problems yeah yeah I don't yeah. Be part yeah yeah that's interesting yeah um okay fine like is marriage and something serious like that, are these things in your books, in your head as well? Like, do you guys ever envision yourself settling down? And do you envision yourself settling down, if you do, whilst you're doing what you're doing now as a stripper, as an escort, as a cam model, etc.? For sure. I don't see why, yeah, because why of our job, that mm. we have less of humanity and as not to have love or marriage mm. or engagement mm. or a relationship. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people do look at us and stereotypically think that, but that's because of society. Right. Mm. Even though sex sells and sex is everywhere in like, Shampoo adverts yeah. and coffee mm, adverts, mm, mm. but like sex sells. Mm. But it's people don't take control thinking, of it. Basically, yeah. if you take control of a situation, some people just don't like it. Exactly. Like, like so the whole weed thing, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So everyone has sex. Mm. We're just taking control of that. Yeah. Mm. That, the fact that sex sells, and everyone's like, wow, well, yeah. you're not capable of having everyone a relationship or a child, way, yeah. or why? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. how the hell is what I do in my it job to make money depend on like what kind of mum I'm going to be or what kind of wife I'm going to be? It just makes no sense. I feel like people whenever they look at sex workers they just see it as you that's all you are yeah, yeah. yeah. that's all you are you don't have any other personality yeah, or yeah. characteristics yeah. or achievements <laughs> or talents Honestly, you're yeah. a sex worker you're trash it's like <laughs> well not really exactly we're yeah. just like everyone else we yeah. still we still you know local, what this is, like, might whatever. be like a bit of a like <laughs> crazy thing to say but i personally do you feel like this as well obviously i know girls who are like in the industry and mm. i know like normal girls who just have like nine to five normal jobs mm. in my opinion <laughs> my friends that have normal jobs are more promiscuous than the girls i know in industries because i feel like sex isn't a big deal to us because mm. we're just yeah. around surrounded by mm. it mm. it's not exciting it's mm. not like what it used to be to nothing's us. really new anymore right so yeah. i feel like the friends i know who have normal jobs in my opinion mm. like it's fine they can mm -hmm. be promiscuous but mm. they are more promiscuous yeah. I can understand like, that. I can agree right? with that. Yeah, I can so agree with that. So the yeah. whole like men feeling like, oh, like we're not like wifeable or yeah. we can't settle down. That's yeah. actually like completely opposite. Yeah, to there's, be there's so many girls as well that I know that are in the industry who have loving and devoted um, relationships, mm -hmm. husbands, wives, boyfriend, mm -hmm. girlfriends. Um, like it is possible. I don't understand yeah. why people think it's not, but yeah. it is that there's a lot of people out there who understand where we're coming from yeah. and our mentality and they have similar aspects that make us like, yeah. you know, 
help them to understand mm. and they have the time to listen as well mm. and not just see it from a stereotypical yeah. side, mm. okay. which is yeah. the people that you I want I would to. say that as well. If you ha- if you actually had a conversation about it properly, mm-hmm. you would just see it so differently. But yeah. obviously some yeah. men just aren't willing to even just sit and have the conversation. Mm. Like, yeah. I'm a human. Actually mm. listen to me and listen to like yeah. my life and who I am. Like, mm. like you said, not mm. just all the escort or the cam girl, mm. just mm. Shyla. Yeah. And you'll probably think, oh, actually. So you think you deserve respect, yeah? 100%. Everyone deserves respect. Everyone deserves respect. Like everyone respect everyone. 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 Do you think it it makes it difficult though with the job that you do? So do you know you what? Must come across guys that's calling you hoes just cash because you're it it looks like that. Not to yeah. my face. <laughs> yeah. It's normally over the internet. Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's normally over the internet. But yeah, yeah, like obviously, or like just like act maybe just a certain way. Like mm. I'm going to be a certain way. Mm. I think men like approach me like I'm gonna be more like promiscuous. I'm gonna be more like yeah. Um, like sexual. when when you're not that. That's when they start to start yeah. switch off, and you're like, okay, yeah, and that's why, that's why I've held myself <laughs> yeah, back, <literally. laughs> just to try and prove that point. So, yeah. Bye. yeah <laughs> so, do you okay? B- within the conversation of the the family and the relationship and stuff mm-hmm. like that, mm-hmm. and um, you're saying that you know you are potentially looking to have your own kids, your own family, whatever. Mm-hmm. If your kids came up to you and said, "Mom, I want to do this," and "Mom, I want to get into you know the sex work and stuff like that," like, is your perception the same as? The way you see yourself is it? Well, how would you communicate to your kid in terms of um, that? Um, if I ever had a child and they came to me say, "Mom, I want to be a stripper or I want to do OnlyFans and stuff," I'd be all for it. Mm. Oh. Um, because I would like to believe that I would, be, like, bring my child up to understand the same mentality that I have mm. and understand the universe how I see it mm. to be quite open-minded and not judgmental. Like, I would like to think I would bring my child up to be that to understand how to hold themselves. I would mm. say, wait till you're 21. That's probably the mm. only blockage that I would put up like just wait till you're 21 okay. because just wait till you're fully out of your teen years mm-hmm. because when you are a teen you are immature in a lot of areas mm-hmm. and you feel like you deserve a lot of things when I feel like as you grow older you understand certain things and, like, and the way also, that you should be with your you life make a lot of, you can make a lot of money and I feel like when you're like 18, 19 you're making mm-hmm. a lot of money you'll do stupid things yeah I did so much stupid shit with my money mm-hmm. so yeah oh. the, the 21 <laughs> <laughs> the 21 thing is like definitely Sorry. a thing okay so it's, yeah. it's the age thing is, is a big thing mm. um, what would you say the biggest misconception is because I know you and I you know we've done, we've done the back and forth on yeah. on the socials and stuff like that yeah. what is the biggest misconception people would you would say would have about your industry they and think and what w- think that all, you're all they f- rich. They think that we're just swimming in Gucci and everything like that. <coughs> not saying that it's <coughs> not an industry that builds money, but a lot of people see us as materialistic. Well, Shyla's wearing a bag of designer today. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, to I'm not toe. saying. <laughs> 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 and a Gucci bag I'm is behind <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> you know? so. I'm not saying it's like a bad <laughs> thing, but yeah. because people think that, a lot of people tend to take advantage of you. Like, mm. I've had so many friends oh, okay. that have taken advantage Male of me. Male and female. Male and female, yeah, yeah. 100%. Um, like the guy, he thinks he just ripped up my money. I've just worked yeah, a whole night for exactly. that. I've just worked a whole night for that. And that money to you means nothing, but that's my bills. And you've just ripped that up. Mm-hmm. Now yeah. I've got to put more effort into sellotaping it and taking it to the bank. Yeah. <laughs> money means way more to us, trust me. Yeah, like I feel it like- It means way more because I know, know what I had to do for that. Yeah. Mm. So like, yeah, I, I lo- not gonna lie. I've always had like a, a clothes addiction though. So mm-hmm. it's not even just this job. It's mm. like, no yeah. matter what job I'd had, mm. even if I was making like nothing, mm. I would literally sit there and save and not eat. And yeah. then I'd just go by so like, that's just Trust. me. It's yeah. bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's just me. So the level, this level of materialism. Yeah, yeah. But the whole, like, yeah, but like you have loads things. of money. Definitely not a bad thing. No, yeah. It's just like what well, I like. I feel like people feel like they're entitled to your money as yeah. well. Okay. That's a lot of things from like close friends and family members. Like, People just pop up to me, oh, I need to borrow 500 pounds. What makes you think I've got 500 pounds yeah. to spend? And even, like, if, okay, even if I do, we, like, can, we do have the advantage in our job where we can go make a thousand pounds in a weekend then, or whatever. But, then, like that. but that, that doesn't maybe, always exactly, happen. Exactly. It doesn't always happen. Mm. It's not That's always right. guaranteed. Like really unsure income. You yeah. never, no one ever mm. understands it until you yeah. do it. Exactly. It's so unsure. There's been so many nights where I've sat there in like my 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 lingerie is like over 100 pounds and mm. my shoes are over 100 pounds and mm. my hair's done, my eyelashes, nails, everything. Mm. And I've made no money. Okay. Like th- these things happen, but people, I feel like they're very judgmental when it comes to money. They just think, oh, you've you've got this, you've got that. So it doesn't it doesn't matter me asking you ask for this type mm-hmm. of money. And then when you don't give it to them, uh, they just get they, mardy. They think or, you're special. No, I'm selfish. And yeah, shit. and you do a lot of people, and they just like just throw it back in your face mm-hmm. okay. as well. Shy, what about you? Um, biggest, biggest misconception. misconception. Yeah. Mm. Like what? What? What is it that someone can come and say to you? We a lot of people, guys especially, we just assume we know. 
right? We just assume you just out here thoughting around. Okay, my big, yeah. I think, yeah the, yeah, the biggest misconception is that, like, I'm not genuine. As in, like, no mm. matter what, me mm. dating a man, me being with a man is always mm. for some sort of, like, gain, okay. Under, like, underlying mm. reason. Sure. Mm-hmm. Like, you're just, you're just, like, in this for that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If a man has money, oh, you're just using him. What if mm. I actually like him? Mm. Mm. But, yeah, that's the biggest misconception. I okay. don't date genuinely. Yeah, they think you can't mm. love. Yeah. So, <laughs> how do you convince someone then? I don't. Have you ever, you just, like, if you don't believe me, don't believe me. No. Yeah. You've never met a guy. Um, or a person that you you kind of felt like you know I really like you I don't know you feel this way about me I'm gonna try and turn you yeah. over. <laughs> um, like with the guy that I spoke about, like mm. we tried it, it didn't work. Mm. Um, but the one thing we, like we need to understand as well is that we're still young. Mm. Yeah. Like we're only 22. Mm. Um, a lot of people, and it's not even a bad thing. Like there's so many people that I've got as friends that have got kids, marriage, yeah. marriages coming up. Like it's not a bad thing to do it when you're young. Yeah. But personally, to me, I just see it as do you know what if you're not on the same as me yeah. Yeah. I've got time f- to chuck you off and f- yeah. find someone else like there's yeah. 7 billion people in this world yeah, probably. Exactly. Mm-hmm. like you know we've got time to be you know experimenting finding the person mm-hmm. that potentially is going to be with us forever so okay I just see it as just a, it's a learning curve okay mm. cool so can I ask I one question it. sorry mm. it's okay. is this a long term thing or is this just a period in your life let me get my money and let me bounce yeah, get my money and get like and just bounce. So it's, how long it's do you see yourself doing it for then? Um, I haven't really put like a time mark on it. I mm. feel like when the time comes, I'll know. Mm. Um, but the thing is, with this job, like it's not that it can't be forever because there's loads of women that I've seen like in group chats and whatever, like yeah. that are in like their forties, fifties, like you know, p- people do it of all ages. Yeah, there's grannies that do it, isn't it? So yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like you know, there's mm-hmm. there's there's grandmas on there. <laughs> <doing it. laughs> so like I I don't really feel like there's a time limit on it, mm. but it's definitely not something that I want to do forever. It's yeah. just it's it's uh, a fast track. Yeah. Um. When you know how to utilize a fast track, mm, it's mm, a fast mm. track for me okay. to be able to. What I generally want to do is just own properties. Mm, I mm. just want to own properties so I can sit and sit my cocktail. Yeah. And, you know, is my properties are doing okay. So yeah. that's 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 like the aim. Like I feel like you've got to have an aim of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like when you don't have an aim, you can get very lost in the industry because mm. it is an industry that can suck you up and yeah. spit you out dry. Mm. Like <laughs> people don't really care because there's so many people that do and it. And it's also yeah. just based on your physicals, right? Because eventually exactly. everything you have right now. Yeah, is gonna of course. Fade. Listen, it's going to be yeah. the twi- next twenty-one year old. Yeah. they're yeah, going exactly. to be. And they're going to be even crazier. <laughs> exactly. Like every day, there's always something new that someone's offering. Exactly. So Backflip, jumping through the splits at the same time. Trust me. Yeah, me. Oh, you see it all. <laughs> uh, cool, yeah. cool. We need to head off. So what what we might do, we might bring you both back on another time. Cool. Yeah, I mean there's a few more questions I wanna wanna go through, but they, they they're rushing us out right now. Really? Yeah. Maybe I've got time for one more. Maybe I've got time for one more. I don't Yo, he said no, that sucks. <laughs> uh, cool, ladies, I need to sign out. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to make you Next think about time. this question, though. It's about your sexual life, right? And what mm. things are like when you're off cam or when you're out not escorting anymore. Is it still the same? And what are their expectations mm. like? Mm. Okay. Versus are you actually stepping up to the plate or do mm. you feel like I ain't as good as you, as I advertised? <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay. I ain't that bitch. There's yeah, so I mean. many answers to that. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll save answers that. We'll that. save that. All right, ladies, it's been fun. Yeah, I mean, Shy Grace, another episode of No Silicone. Keeping it raw. And keeping it real with your boy feeling Hendrix. Like, where do I look? So, Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> out. Yeah, I mean, right, take care, love. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao. No